Hold up, brother Daddy. Hold up, brother Anthony. Oh, I know you're probably looking at my finger and say, hey, you're injured. Well, yeah. it's not really. It's just a little mite of cut and I got on a can. You know, I immediately sealed it so it would mm -hmm. heal up, you know. And I just put this on here just so, you know, no dirt will get in it, you know, mm -hmm. trying to be cautious, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of interesting because, you know, your body heals yourself. And, you know, the planet also heals itself. And also, here's the thing. There are substances on the planet that will heal your body. I came across one. Well, I was looking on the, on, the, on, the, on the internet, on the YouTube, and I came across this lecture. Hold on a second. Okay, can you just hold that for me? Okay. Let me something. I got, I got my, I think I got it right here. I'll, I'll take that back. It's a, uh, okay. okay. It was a lecture. One of those uh, TEDx, uh, some from Colorado. See, the reason why I was from Colorado it was a lecture was on cannabis. Cannabis is a, you know, like they, it has a, it has a lot of has a lot of names. You know what I mean? It's like uh, they call it uh, marijuana and weed. You know, and then in South Africa, the name is Dhaka. Is that how you say it? Dhaka. Dhaka. D a g g a. Well, I mean, but it's called a holy weed, all that, I mean, the holy earth, and all that stuff. You know what I mean? But here's the thing. The reason why I had in Colorado, because in the states right now, Colorado, the state of Colorado, and the state of, of Washington, Washington State, they legalized marijuana, mm -hmm. cannabis, the cannabis plant. Now the significance is not, you know, it's not that, you know, because the plant has, you know, the roots, and has the stem, has the leaves, and it has the, the bullet, that's what gets you, you know, alters your state. So people are concerned about the altering of the state. But the plant has a lot of other uses. Now, that this particular lecture was talking about what they did now that's legal in Colorado, they can do research. So they came up with this pill and they treat, and now there's a thing called pediatric epilepsy. 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 Mm -hmm. You know, the, the one where you get the seizures and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. There's a thing called grand mal seizures. Now, this the little girl there, well, this pediatric, this was a little girl five years old. Remember, they took all the stuff, the stuff that makes you high out of the plant, made a compound, and they gave it to her. Now, she used to have uh, these seizures, be maybe, maybe, maybe like 20 to 25 minutes would be a seizure, it would take that long. And she would have the seizure maybe every 15 to 25 minutes. That's a lot of seizures. Now, another case is they talked about this thing called Dozer syndrome. Again, the seizures. Now, this, this young boy, he had seizures. He was having seizures, something like 400 seizures a week. And by taking this this extract or whatever they did from plant leaf of, of, of the cannabis, he only has zero to one seizure a week now. This is a miracle. Mm -hmm. Now, but here's the thing. The compound that they made, it treats seizures, you know, well, like migraine headaches. Also, uh, depression, a ALS, I think that's Lou Gehrig, that's the nervous system thing. Multiple sclerosis. Also, diabetes. They're doing research for diabetes. Mm. Also, you know that this cures high blood pressure. Mm. Now, think about it. We here in Southern Africa, we got lots of diabetes and lots of high blood pressure. You see? Now, here's the thing. Let me just put this down here. Here's the thing. Now, South Africa, let's be real. If, 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 if they, I, don't, I don't advocate legalizing uh, 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 cannabis. I think it just be, should be decriminalized so people don't go to jail, you know, that kind of thing in the system, right? And mess up your life and all that stuff. But, you know, you got the brand name down in this area. Think about that. If they decriminalize or legalize, well, say they legalize uh, marijuana, Dhaka, in Swaziland, that's a brand name, Swazi. Everybody be coming here. I should tell you this, Swazi is actually not the best herb down here. The best herb comes from, from Malawi, but we won't talk about that right now. But here's the point. At some particular point in Southern Africa region, they're going to say, oh, it's legal in the United States. Let's make it legal here. Now you make it legal here, now you can do the research. But why, why are we waiting for the United States to be legal? Why do we 
You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And see, because they're going to make the compound and they're going to get rich off of that and they're going to spread it here. But we got the resources here. We got people that can do farming, agriculture, all this stuff. And they can make the, and we can cure our own high blood pressure and, 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 and diabetes and seizures. Mm -hmm. But we do it? I don't know, because we always waiting for somebody else to do it and we laying back. You know, this, is, this is a complaint I have. Mm -hmm. I know I shouldn't be complaining, especially with a dispatch, because this is a dispatch. Just you know, when the arts director emeritus, that would be me, T, for the Madisons, taking a chance to bet, letting you know what I only suspect. Yeah.